What is up, geeks? Unite the Clans here, back in your life, and back in your life with Minecraft Episode 1. I have been really excited for this day for quite a long time, and I'm glad it's finally here. The very first video I ever posted to this channel was my Minecraft Episode 0. In that episode, I toured you guys around five of the most epic, jaw-dropping, gorgeous seeds I could find for Minecraft 1.8. Then, I left it to you guys to decide where I should do my Let's Play. I started a poll on my Google Plus page. That has been open since I posted episode zero, and it closed last night at midnight. In the interim, I took you guys through five uh, seed spotlights where we toured around the, the, the nearby biomes, and we did a creative build together at each of the spots. Uh, you can check all those out in this playlist. But the time has finally come for episode one. The poll has closed. And I want to reveal to you the winner. But in case this is the first video you are watching, I'm going to give you two minutes of episode zero. Just so you're familiar with the five seeds, you can pick a personal favorite of your own. And then when we come back, and when we come back, I will be at spawn at the winning seed. And I will reveal to you what it was. It was a very tight heat between two of the seeds, neither of which were my favorite. My favorite finished a healthy third. Uh, the two in the lead, just so you know when you watch this, were Mount Chambay and Ocean's Gate. Very dead heat. They're both epic-looking savanna biomes at spawn. want you guys to take a look at that now. Enjoy two minutes of this video. And like I said, when we come back, episode one will officially start old-fashioned Minecraft survival. Let's go. Number one, we call it the Archipelago. It is a survival island seed, surrounded by three ocean monuments. Survival will be tough, and that's the reason to vote for this one. Coming up next, Mount Chambay. The epic mountainous savanna reaches up beyond the clouds. Uh, the view is tremendous and uh, awe-inspiring. And guess what? It's next to kind of an odd little village as well. Uh, stay tuned for that. Number three is the bluffs. Sheer rock cliffs battered by the ocean, surrounded by deep dark oak forests and miles and miles of birch. There is an awesome view though, and it is of those cliffs. Fourth, we have Ocean's Gate, a mind-boggling island covered in savanna and to be honest, best viewed from freefall. And if you think that's good, you gotta come check it out at sunset. After that, the fifth and final seed is Nordragar. It is a vast and frozen continent with every single cold biome in the game. And at the northern tip of that continent is a frozen island begging for a Skyrim-esque Viking village. All right, geeks, here we are. It's a savanna biome. If you have been following the poll, that isn't going to help you too much. Are we at Mount Chambay or are we at Ocean's Gate? The answer is Ocean's Gate. Now, I can't fly around like I have in all my other Minecraft videos because I've been in creative mode. This is survival, and it's going to be hard. Actually, as a matter of fact, let's start things off right, and we'll go options throw that baby on hard and uh, I'm not going to tour you guys around Ocean's Gate. If you want to do that, there's a seed spotlight, there's a big chunk of episode zero where we do it, but it's a tremendous massive island with all these massive uh, savanna mountains. Uh, I'm glad there are sheep around. Uh, I'm going to be able to find a bed and yeah, this is a survival series, so I can't, I can't mess around. Let's get started. We'll punch some dang wood. Do this old school. Now, this, I'm sure, will be a labor of love. Minecraft is one of my favorite games of all time. I've been playing it, I think, for nearly five years. Um, I started in InfDev, which is a really long time ago, if you're newer to the game. Uh, I, yeah, and I like my first world, I played in it forever because I didn't want to start a new one. I didn't want to leave behind all the amazing structures I'd managed to build. Um, so, uh, back then, when the game updated, uh, 
and you explored new areas, it got really freaky. Like you'd have these, you know, 100 block high sheer walls that were just a whole chunk is at an entirely different elevation. Uh, and so I basically didn't explore out of the area I had originally explored in when I started the game. Uh, I remember watching my friend play uh, at some point uh, a little while into Minecraft. I think the whatever the update that had the plains uh, biomes and stuff like that. I'm just grabbing the oak trees first because I think they're easier to build with. Uh, and then we'll throw together some tools in a second here. You guys know what episode one looks like. It's harsh. I'm scrabbling, trying to get myself some, some goods. So this video in all will probably be a little longer than the average one I will do in this series. I'm going to try and keep them uh, reasonably short for you guys. Um, oh, I totally forget what I was just talking about. Oh yeah, so I watched... <laughs> Alright, so I watched my friend play and uh, he was in this area that had like like this, this tall grass, which I guess I should break up a little while to get some seeds we'll get going. Um, and I was just like, oh, this is in Minecraft? Because I was so in love with my world that I hadn't explored outside of it. I was just in love with building this massive thing. I like when you can look back uh, over a Minecraft world that you've played a lot of and you can just see the progress. The game is much better than it used to be. If I don't explore beyond here and Minecraft goes back to when updates were really exciting and it was constantly adding new biomes and stuff like that, uh, then me exploring and trying to find cool new areas, that, that'll be that'll be a breeze. Maybe by 1.9 or if we get to 2.0. I don't know where Minecraft's going. The updates used to be super, uh, super exciting. Uh, every time it was like, oh, check out this new thing. It's like, you know, a new animal or a new resource or some other new kind of block or, you know, hey, here's a dozen new biomes or here's new horses. Uh, and now they just seem to be like, oh yeah, bug fix, bug fix, optimize this, optimize that. Um, and like, I think that's the main reason I say this is going to be a labor of love. Minecraft has been on everyone's mind. I'm collecting a lot of wood. I'm going to build the first structure out of wood. Um, people have been playing and loving Minecraft like me uh, for a very long time now. And I think, you know, interest is waning a little bit. But the amount of content isn't necessarily waning. I think uh, every 24 hours, there's something in the vicinity of 22,000 Minecraft videos uploaded to YouTube. So if you found this, congrats. It's a diamond in the frickin' rough. If you're looking for some old school Minecraft survival, uh, the first series I fell in love with was Building with B-double-O. Uh, one of my favorite YouTubers. Great builder. Uh, really funny. Uh, and he was part of uh, Minecraft, which was, if you don't know, a uh, really big Minecraft server. One of the most popular ones. And... Um, outside of maybe Yogg's cast or something like that. He's not a part of that anymore, just B-team official, but uh, watching his solo survival building series made me want to be a YouTuber. I watched that, and I remember in one of those videos him talking about how he was about to quit his job. It caught him totally by surprise that YouTube could be such a big part of his life and could replace his full-time job, but uh, it did, and, and that inspired a little dream in me. Not that... Uh, I'm expecting to be able to quit my job doing little fun videos like this. Uh, it's a hobby for me, but uh, it's super inspiring to watch somebody succeed just playing a video game and a video game that you already love. So there's so much Minecraft content out there. I mean, I can't, I can't imagine that this series is going to get, you know, going to skyrocket me to the top of YouTube or anything like that. Um, but I adore this game. And no matter what, I'm going to keep playing it. I think the time has come for me to do some crafting. Oh, took inventory. That took a while. Um, guys, I'm going to get myself uh, all set up here. And I'm going to come back with you in just one second. So guys, I was about to dig in here. But um, why am I doing that with my tool? Uh, I was about to dig in here. And then I remembered there are so many gorgeous spots here. It's really tough to tra traverse because the heights are are crazy. So I might give you sort of a a bit of a time lapse of me uh, traveling to the actual gate to Ocean's Gate. Uh, I'm gonna have to try and be safe and work my way down this hill. Once I get there, I'll do a little mining and maybe I'll get started uh, on the foundation of a structure. We'll build that probably next episode. But come back with me in just a minute, guys.
Oh, I'm not ready for you. Yeah, let's go get on out of here. Almost there, geeks. There is a zombie in my way. I'm gonna build myself a quick sword. Everybody likes to keep their stuff in a different spot. I always went uh, pickaxe one, uh, sword two, and then I think I, I yeah I go axe, shovel, go torches, and then I get in the bow and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know what you guys do, but I notice everybody does it a little different. Although most people always have pickaxe in the first spot. Oh, I really don't want to mess with these clowns now. Maybe I'll knock them into the lava. Yeah, come my way, boy. I'm gonna take you out. What did I say I'd do? I say I'd knock you into the lava? Yeah, I will. My creeper's gonna be a problem. How many creeper hits does it take with a stone sword? Okay. Boom. No, I'm far enough away. Hopefully only three. If it's four, I'm gonna blow my fricked up brains out. How many... I gotta get some better gear. Survival's tough. So guys... I think I'm going to end the video here, but this is Ocean's Gate. This is the uh, landmark that this seed is named after. It's this epic arch made entirely out of stone. It's got trees on top, and it's all ocean out in that direction. We got a beautiful view of the sunset. Before night falls, I'm going to build myself a quick structure to sleep the night in. But you guys are going to have to see that episode two. Before we go, guys, I wanted to say thank you. Thank you to everyone who's been watching my Minecraft content so far. If you like this episode one, tell your friends. Uh, I would love if more people could find me. Uh, and thank you for voting. Thank you for picking this absolutely gorgeous freaking seed. I'm not at all upset that my favorite one didn't win. Uh, Ocean's Gate is amazing. I will say I found that at epicminecraftseeds.com. Not a sponsor or anything, just I think they're a cool website and they always have cool seeds. So go check it out. I should also mention I will be bringing out another seed spotlight. This one just for fun. That'll be on Wednesday. It's going to be a Bryce Mesa biome. It's gigantic. Uh, stay tuned to the channel for that. Um, and like I said, guys, I hope you're liking what I'm doing. And I will see all of y'all in the next episode.